Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, Jesse here, welcome back to another video. I'm going to do something a little bit different today and that is I wanted to go through and just have a look at some of the Captain Rex figures that have been released in the 3 and 3 quarter inch line over the years. Um, so we're about to get a repack in the vintage collection and most fans are a little bit upset that, that uh, Hasbro haven't really revisited this figure and given it an update. Um, so the, the one that came out in 2014 in the Black Series and the 3 and 3 quarter inch was uh, severely underwhelming. <laughs> Let's just say that. But I'm going to go through and have a look at some animated ones. Um, I do have the 6 inch version here, which um, I'm not going to put in the video. But I'm just, just showing him now. Um, but yeah, I've got four different Captain Rexes plus a custom that I did quite a long time ago. So... I'm going to do a quick little video and show off these figures and um, yeah, have a little bit of discussion about each Captain Rex version that has been released. Um, there are some different ones that I don't have because um, there have been a few different versions of the animated versions as well. So I will touch on them as I uh, go through each one. So stay tuned. All right, so here we have four very different Captain Rex figures. Um, ranging from 2008 through to 2014. Um, so this Captain Rex here on the left, what I'll do is I'll bring them in one by one and uh, have a quick little overview. So here is the standard sort of phase one Captain Rex. Uh, this is a future release. This was a, sorry, a later release. This one came out probably later in 2011, maybe 2012. I uh, can't remember off the top of my head. Um, they released him with a giant jetpack thing um, because by then they'd released the first version a couple of times and he had a slightly misshaped helmet. Um, because he was one of the first clones to come out, um, it was based on some other different style artwork and he didn't have the sort of squat helmet so what I did is I did find the other helmet and you can kind of see the difference and uh, the head sculpt underneath was actually quite a lot better on this figure once he came out so that was what the original looked like and then they re-released him with a new updated head sculpt which looks far superior and a better looking helmet. Um, he did have a blast mark on his chest underneath the pauldron. Um, I have glued that onto this figure, but uh, yeah, this is a good all round sort of phase one Captain Rex from the Clone Wars. Um, a really good figure, still holds up today, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's, I just, I really do like this figure. Remember, Captain Rex was one of the very early Clone Wars figures that I did buy. Um, must have been one of the first five or six. But yeah, he did have this helmet. So I've got, I don't have the figure anymore. I think I may have used it for a custom at some point. But I did keep this helmet just as a little, just as a little memento for that first Rex that I did buy. But I may have even used the same body. Um, from that first Rex and just switch the heads out. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it has been quite a long time. So it would have been, yeah, 2009 or 10. From memory. So now we go on to Captain Rex in his snow gear. Now this is back at a time where Hasbro would do figures based on a singular episode appearance. Um, now this one was in season... Oh, you know what, I can't even remember. I want to say season one, um, where they went to Auto Plutonia, um, Anakin and Obi-Wan had their snow gear, and uh, they had Rex and uh, the 501st in sort of snow outfits like this. Um, this is just an awesome figure. They did release a standard 501st clone, or may, may, may not have even been 501st, may have just been a standard clone in this sort of snow outfit. And... Uh, yeah, I believe that one was only available with the, with the Freco Speeder. I can't remember. Um, but I like the backpack on the back. That's a cool little twist on uh, a little bit of Ralph McQuarrie, um, the Snow Troopers, but sort of turned into the clones. Obviously, it's a little bit with the sort of thing around the around the bottom of the mask there, that sort of extra insulation is a nod to the Imperial Stormtroopers as well. 
Um, the blasters are a little bit loose in, at least in his left hand here that I'm having trouble with, um, but they do fit well in the holster. I do like the sort of weathering on the jumpsuit, the sort of grey, it's got like a white wash over it. I'm just going to leave that blaster over there. <laughs> so they do quite a good job with this figure. Uh, yep, there goes the other blaster, so... I'm a, I'm a big fan of this one, I like the look of him, I think he looks great. Doesn't have a removable helmet, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really need one. It's just a nice looking Captain Rex figure. So I'll put him aside now, we're going to move on to Phase 2, Phase 2 armour. Now this version did come out in 2013, there was a prior release um, when they started putting out the Phase 2 clones. Um, and Hasbro put Rex out with unarticulated knees. They started dropping a bit of articulation um, around this time, sort of late 2012, early 2013. And uh, some of the figures weren't overly well received by fans. Um, they completely cut out leg articulation. Um, so no ankles, no knees. Um, and fans basically said, you can't put out a Rex without articulated knees. Like it's, he's a main character. He deserves better than that. Um, but overall, not a bad looking figure. Um, but yeah, when they did put him out with articulated knees, he was, uh, from memory, I think he was only a part of like an international exclusive line in 2013 where there was like one wave of figures released with uh, green packaging with Yoda on it. Um, but yeah, I've always felt that the helmet's a little big on this one. Um, we'll compare it side by side. It's, it's kind of hard because they're on stands, but... Um, <laughs> It's a great sculpt for the helmet. Um, great animated likeness. But yeah, just it just feels a little big. But again, not a terrible thing. Um, still cool to see. Yeah, lacking in articulation doesn't have the range finder. Isn't articulated. Has a peg on his backpack because they just use the same mold, which is which is fine. But still a pretty nice Captain Rex figure. Fits well despite the uh, slightly too large head. Alright, so we'll move him out of the way. And now we're going to the first ever realistic version of Rex. This one's getting a re-release on a vintage card very soon. And uh, they went kind of backwards with this one as well. They gave him a head that was slightly too small. Um, particularly compared to where well, we look at him now with uh, Commander Wolf that just come out in the vintage line. Um, fantastic figure. And they're just going to completely repack this one into the vintage collection, which is a little disappointing. Um, he still looks reasonably good. Great details. Uh, the helmet has some great details, um, but uh, the rangefinder looks too big, it's not articulated, um, his head just feels a little small. So this is exactly what you'll be getting in the vintage collection in the next couple of months. Um, unless they do some update to the deco, I doubt it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a... It's a little lacklustre, um, still a cool figure to have, I, I, I do I do like this figure a lot, um, but yeah, it does, it's definitely not, not without its flaws. So that one, it may be one to keep carded, um, and if you haven't seen only one Kenobi's video he just did yesterday on the most recent 501st 3 pack containing the ARC Troopers of Echo Fives and Jesse. Um, he puts these side by side and it, it's, it's apples and oranges because those three figures were absolutely incredible and this one is just a little bit of an eyesore in comparison to the rest. Um, they did give him the articulation in, in the knees and the ankles um, that sort of changed the mould so the articulation was no longer in that sort of upper armour of the torso there. Um, for the rest of it was there, just the head a little small. Um, Never mind. All right, so now I just want to quickly show you my custom that I did quite a few years ago. Um, must have been 2012 or 13. Um, 
you must have been yeah well, after the after the fa after the um second phase two version that I just spoke about came out in 2013 I used my old 2012 one and a spare vintage collection phase one clone trooper and I painted him up um, to, to make a realistic looking Rex um, I didn't go so far as to put all the welding colors on the mask I actually think the pauldron on this figure is actually better than that one. Better colour. Probably a nicer looking mould. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, used a spare belt and the Karma from uh, Fordo. Captain Fordo. Um, I did have to paint the sort of belt and pouches white. It's a little bit messy. And then I did have to go over the... Um, over the red lines around the karma with blue and it's you know it's it's messy but um this is in the early days of my customizing where I'll, I'll probably lacked a little bit of the skills I have now I don't do a lot of customizing these days but um yeah I still think just this size helmet just looks a little bit nicer on the figure uh, it does have the articulation in the uh, abs there it does have the ball jointed hips so Definitely has its upsides in comparison to to this one, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to share off a few of these uh, Captain Rexes that I have accumulated over the years. Put the phase one up front because I, I still think he is the best. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think below. I'd love to hear some thoughts on what you're thinking of the uh, the uh, Captain Rex that's coming out in the Vintage Collection. Um, I never ended up reviewing this one when it dropped back in 2014 in the, uh, into the 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series. So if you'd like an individual review, I'd be happy to do that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned because I've got plenty more videos coming up. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.